This is a demonstration of the Arduino CLI uh, in a terminal session. When you first install the Arduino CLI, you won't have any support for any library or uh, cores or platforms. So the first thing that we can do, we can launch the command, just the naked one, Arduino CLI, and see that we get an help uh, screen which tells us what, what we can do. So for instance, we can invoke an help session for any command or any subcommand. Uh, let's just try and clean up and we run Arduino CLI dash H is going to give us the same uh, results so the same help uh, screen for the commands that we can run. We are interested in uh, uh, creating a basic sketch and compiling it and uploading to the to the board that we have a touch. Let's first see what we can do with the board command Arduino CLI board we can run some commands. We can list the boards which are attached to your uh, uh, to our computer. And we can also see the details about a board. Let's try and run the first one. So Arduino CLI, oh, let's clean. Arduino CLI board list. It's going to run through our USB connected devices and it's gonna show us the boards that we have connected. You can clearly see that we have an Arduino Uno and an Arduino Nano 33 IoT. These boards rely on two different cores. One is an AVR, so it relies on Arduino AVR, and the other one relies on the SAMD core from Microchip. And the FQBN tells us the fully qualified board name, which is in this case Arduino AVR Uno, and in the case of the Nano 33, it's Arduino SAMD Nano 33 IoT. This command is very helpful because it's gonna tell us a bunch of things about the board that we have attached. So let's first see what we can do. Uh, we said that we have no cores. Ar Arduino CLI core list. We have no cores installed, but we need to install the two cores for the two boards that we have connected. Arduino CLI core install Arduino AVR for the Arduino Uno and it's going to download all the cores. This is the same operation that happens in the, in the traditional ID. And it's installing all the tools that we need. So to upload, to compile and uh, everything else. Uh, let's try and run Arduino CLI core list. We now have Arduino AVR version 1.8.2. Uh, let's install the other one. If we don't remember, we can simply issue the command board list. And we now know that we need to install Arduino SAMD. So Arduino CLI core install Arduino SAMD. This is going to go through the same process. It's going to download the supporting files and cores and uh, specs for every board that we uh, created. And of course, as we can install um, cores that, that are produced by us at Arduino, we can also install third-party cores. We can see in the future how to do this. And this one is done. So our next command, Arduino CLI core list, is going to show us that we have both cores installed. Let's move forward. The first thing that we want to do, we want to create a new sketch. If we don't remember, we can simply go Arduino CLI and it's gonna show us a bunch of commands. What we wanna do, we want to create a sketch. So let's try and, uh, and go this way. Arduino CLI sketch is gonna tell us what we can do. So we can clearly create a new sketch. So new will create a new sketch and it will accept. So let's see, uh, let's see the options that we have for new. Arduino CLI sketch new dash H. And we have flags that we can give. We can give it a name, for instance. So let's just try and create a blink script. Arduino CLI sketch new blink me. And it has created a new sketch 
in the folder blinkme in our home folder so what can we do with this well let's first of all enter the path and we have one ino file so let's see what's inside the sketch has been created it's an empty sketch which contains a void setup and a void loop so this means that we can open our favorite uh, text editor and just go and edit the file for convenience I'm just gonna do it in the terminal so I'm going to edit using nano uh, blink me and let's see what we can do here uh, we can set it's a blink example so let's just set the pin mode of the LED built in uh, pin to output so we can control it and we can uh, digital write LED built in high to turn it on we wait half a second digital right LED built-in low oh there's a typo here and delay 500 so this is our sketch we can exit the sketch and save it so if we uh, show the content of the file we see that this is complete and it works what else can we do with this sketch well we want to just compile the sketch to see if it works if it runs so let's see what we have as uh, available commands Arduino CLI and uh, we can clearly see that we have compile so Arduino CLI compile and it's going to tell us that it doesn't know which board to compile for. Let's look at our options. CLI compile dash H. It expects some flags and there is an example which is compatible with the, with one of the boards that we have connected. So let's just say that we compile dash B is an abbreviation for fully qualified board name. And we're going to use this one for uh, convenience. So we can run Arduino CLI compile dash b arduino avr uno so if we are using for instance a, a nano we would write arduino avr nano and it expects a, a path to the sketch that we want to compile but we are in the same sketch uh, sorry in the same folder as the sketch we want to compile so let's just try and do this arduino cli uh, compile dash b arduino avr uno and it compiles this is a very simple sketch so it takes pretty much no time to compile it but what we can do we can uh, see what happens in the background by simply adding a flag to the command and this flag is v which stands for verbose and this is going to show what some people are interested in to see if there's any errors if there's any path uh, discrepancies and so on so the sketch is compiled this means that if we list the files we are gonna see an elf file which is for uh, debugging and the final dot hex file and you can see that uh, depending on the board that we, you want to install there are two options if you upload using an isp programmer for instance or a, you know an stk 500 or something it's going to create one without the bootloader but if we if we need to preserve the bootloader uh it's you know it has created one with the bootloader and this is the source file so we now want to upload the file that we have created so arduino cli let's try upload it's expecting a parameter from us so arduino cli upload requires a flag and you know it can have some flags that are related to the board we want to install to but the one that we really care about right now is the dash b flag so the port flag arduino cli board list and we want to use 
this serial port we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it in line so Arduino CLI upload dash B Arduino AVR Uno dash B and we paste this one and it should be uploaded let's just run it with a dash B and yes it is working correctly so our board as a blinking LED Arduino CLI board attach dash H for help we can specify a few parameters such as the port and the fully qualified board num uh, name uh, but we can just more quickly uh, specify the serial port the board is attached to and uh, the CLI is going to automatically re uh, recognize the board and, uh, and create a configuration file that is everything it needs to quickly compile and upload. So let's see how to speed up this process. Arduino CLI board list will copy the serial port our board is attached to and will run this simple command Arduino CLI board attach serial colon slash slash and our uh, board name and I'm going to pass in the verbose flag so we can see what's happening let's clear the window and launch the command it's doing a few things it's recognizing the board and everything that it needs and it's done so if now we go list what's in our folder we can see that we have a new file called sketch.json what's inside this sketch.json let's let's look at it there's a, a new set of settings that basically tells us that the cpu so the the board that we are uh, connected to attached to as a, an FQBN of Arduino SAMD Nano underscore 33 underscore IoT. The name of the board is Arduino Nano 33 IoT and that's exactly what we have attached to our serial port. And the port it's connected to is our dev CU USB modem 145 blah blah blah. So now essentially remember when we earlier needed to um, run a series of commands right we needed to do arduino cli compile minus b arduino samd nano 33 iot in this case to compile the the code right and right now we have uh, an attached configuration so basically all of this can be replaced by arduino cli compile let's pass a verbose through and you see the the sketch.json file tells the arduino cli which uh, target to compile for and let's look at our files as you can see from earlier we have the compilation files related to the avr uno and we now have these two files which are related to the samd nano 33 iot and if we want to upload a sketch we can simply uh, run this command so arduino cli upload dash v and in a moment we should be able to see what's happening behind the scenes as it uploads to our nano 33 iot done so our Nano 33 IoT, as you can see in the camera view, is now blinking. Uh, half a second on, half a second off. We can even do it uh, faster. So you know when uh, in the uh, traditional Java I, uh, ID we just push the upload button? We can simply issue this command. Arduino CLI, compile, dash dash, upload. And it's compiling, and it's uploading and it's all done just as quickly as we saw it i hope it's enough as an introduction to the arduino cli we really look forward to giving you more content and uh, pushing this um, let's call it progressive tutorial forward with other examples going through 
uh, other supported boards, installing extra cores, as well as debugging and uh, building applications for IoT-connected objects. Thank you.